from the frozen, almost wasteland of winter into seeing that spring thaw, and then just all of a sudden one day, the birds just show up and it's just chaos out here, honking and calling and, and birds flying. And just seeing that life show up, a lot of those birds coming through are attracted to the, the wetlands and the breeding grounds that uh, we're out, out in the middle of here, the Copper River Delta. Cordova is situated in Prince William Sound at the mouth of the Copper River Delta. And so what you have here in Cordova is this convergence of these really powerfully abundant waters. We are a community that's really connected to the natural environment here for one reason, because it's our economy. The commercial fishing industry is inexorably linked to the health of the natural ecosystems here. There is a special relationship with the Copper River Delta and the people who live here. The community here relies on the wetland, not only for its food and medicine, but also for its, I mean, its sense of community. You go out to the Delta with your friends, you go out berry picking with your friends or riding your bike, and it's, it's a part of the community. When I first came to Cordova, we flew in. By the time I landed, I was just crying my eyes out. It was so beautiful, so beautiful. I started to see that the Copper River Delta is life-giving, life-sustaining, and it's so unique. It's different because of the barrier, sand barrier islands that come off of the Copper River and it spreads out with all that silt. Hard to come out of the Copper River Delta, you know, where, where you haven't slipped and got a coat full or a back full of, of that, uh, that Copper River silt. We're out here maintaining and monitoring uh, Nest Island program. Maintaining that with the, the goal to increase nest success and provide safe nesting sites for the Duskies because there's a host of predators out here and uh, yeah, they breed solely here in the Copper River Delta in South Central Alaska. We have an, an opportunity here to make a difference for waterfowl and shorebirds and we have 80 percent of the western sandpipers and dunlins of the world migrating through the Copper River Delta every spring. It's hard to say, you know, why birds capture the imagination, but they do. Maybe it's just because they're a sign of the wildness of an area.